Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all, I'm continuing my new segment. I didn't do one last week, uh, but I'm going to keep continuing my TGIF fish segment of the week. Every Friday morning, I'm going to upload a video of some fish, cook different ways, or different uh, ways you can do it. It's not being really, really popular. I guess it'll go get popular as it goes along. Maybe a lot of people don't like fish. Maybe a lot of people don't like Fridays. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to keep doing it for the people that do love fish and do love uh, Fridays and do love to eat fish on Fridays. All three categories. So today I'm going to use flounder. Flounder is one of my favorite fish to use, y'all, uh, because it's so versatile. You can grill it. You can... Uh, you can grill it, you can fry it, you can poach it, you can stuff it. It has all kinds of uses and it doesn't take long to cook also. It's very thin fish, very flaky, and it's my favorite seafood fish. You know, catfish is my favorite fish to cook in itself, but this is my favorite seafood, uh, ocean uh, caught fish. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull all in my pan here. You can't see right now. I'm gonna so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna saute this. All I'm gonna have is a little oil in the pan, not a lot. And I'm gonna saute it. I'm not gonna fry it. It's a little oil. I use a half, uh, I use an olive oil blend and vegetable oil blend. What I'm gonna do, all I'm gonna do, you know I don't need a lot, I use a lot of seasoning, y'all. Y'all know that already. It don't take all that on food. If you've been cooking long enough, you know. Food has its own natural, meat has its own natural flavor, and don't take all the spices. So I'm going to use some salt and pepper, and I'm going to use Uncle Steve's uh, Gator Shake. This Gator Shake is awesome on fish. It has that nice little tang to it. It's right here. If you go to where you get my shake at, you go there and get his Gator Shake. This stuff is excellent on seafood. It just works so well with seafood. So I'm going to season both sides here. I cut the flounder in half so it'll fit in my skin a little bit better. A little bit more kosher salt. You know I use kosher salt and white pepper. A little gator shake here on this side. And one thing I like about his seasoning, they're not over salty. They are flavorful. So anyway, okay, let me check my pan here and see if it's hot. It's definitely hot here. Put my hand over. Let me move this over. I'm gonna do my little let me move this over here. You know I'm gonna use, use my little shake and bake method. So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just dust this in flour. No milk, no nothing. Just flour in the fish, y'all. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm putting on this fish. Dust it off. Dust the flour off. Put it right in the skillet here. And let it do its thing. Not a lot. This is, like I can say, this is a very easy fish to cook, y'all. Very simple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm using my new skillet, y'all, that one of the, I can't think of her name right now, at the moment, that she sent me. And I think this is an awesome skillet. I've used it before for some chicken piccata with that video. I'm going to do a video on chicken piccata. I did one for my friend and his wife. I was telling y'all last weekend. And everybody asking for a video on it. And I will do a video on it. If people want to know how to make chicken piccata the way I make it. So anyway, I'm going to let this cook off. It don't take long, like I said, on flounder. Flounder don't take long at all. Once I get this brown on both sides, it's pretty much a be cooked. When I cook brown on both sides, then I'm going to take this fish out, drain a little oil off, and I'm going to make a lemon butter sauce right in the same skillet for the, to go on top of the fish. Like I say, this meal tastes no time at all. I just got, actually just got home from work, and I'm going to eat this with a baked potato, and this is going to be my dinner tonight. So anyway, I'll be back when it's time to flip this over, and we'll get this fish ready and on the plate. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back. Okay, it's time to flip this over. See how pretty golden brown that is, y'all? That's what you want. That's what you want right there. Like I said, it don't take all day on this flounder. It don't take all day at all. Flip this one over. Flip this 
another piece over here. I'm spinning it with my hand here. Yeah. Oh yeah, you don't want to go. There you go. There we go. Just a little flour. And actually, you don't have to put the flour if you want a gluten-free type. Uh, uh, the, you like the gluten-free, you view the gluten-free type, you actually don't have to put no flour at all on it. You can just sear it just like that. But I do a little flour just to get a little bit extra color on it. That's all. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back in a couple of minutes. It ain't going to take long. Like I said, this flour don't take long at all to cook, y'all. Don't take long at all. So we'll be right back. Okay, y'all. We are back here. Okay, we're going to take this thing out of here. Look at this. Look how pretty this is. This thing is ready. See that? Flip it back over on the top side. Okay. Take this other one out. Flip this thing over. There we go. Now, y'all know I'm going to put my fish on the rack here. I'm definitely going to put it on the rack here and let it drain on the rack because it is ready. And I'm going to set it in the oven, just let, keep it warm. I got my oven on down low while I got this, uh, while I work on my sauce. There we go. Let me show you this fish right quick, y'all. See how pretty that fish is, nice and golden brown? Okay, I'm going to put it in the oven here. Just a second, let it stay warm in here. In the oven here. Now. I'm gonna make my sauce right quick. Got my, I'm gonna use, take a little of this oil out of here, pour it in a little bowl here, and pour the oil in here. I don't want that much oil in here. Okay. All I'm gonna do, put some lemon juice in here. Get around a little. Get around a little of that, get all that little flavor out of there, y'all. Turn this down just a little. I'm going to make a sauce right in this pan, y'all. What I'm going to do, I'm going to add some cold butter to this. So we're going to make a little sauce to this. Turn it up here. It ain't going to take long at all, y'all. Now you can put some cream in here to kind of help this sauce go along, but if you do it just right, you don't need the cream to it. The butter gonna thicken itself. But the key is to keep stirring this. And don't have the fire too hot and don't have it too cold. There's a little trick to this. See how slowly I'm adding the butter to that? And see how it's thickening it up? That's the key. Let me turn the fire down just a little. You definitely don't want it to boil on you. And you don't want the, this sauce to get too cold. You want to keep stirring it. And as you see the butter melting there, I'm gonna add a little bit more butter. I'm using, I'm, all I'm using a, a stick of butter to this, four ounces of butter. That's enough sauce for what I got here. And this is salted butter and I'm gonna still, may have to add some more salt and pepper to this. See how thick that is coming? Got one little bit more piece there. And I do it in ounce portions. This four ounce uh, piece of butter. I cut the butter in, pot, put in four pieces. And that's what you get here. You get enough, see that nice little sauce you got there? Nice little lemon butter sauce. Right there in the skillet. That little butter melt all the way off, and we're gonna have us some nice sauce for our fish, y'all. More now I can cut this off because gravity gonna do its thing, meaning it's gonna the heat gonna wreck, uh, melt the rest of this butter. While it's doing that, I'm gonna taste it. A little bit of salt in there. A little bit more salt and pepper in there. I'm gonna add a little parsley to this. A little chopped parsley. And that's it, y'all. You got your nice sauce for your fish. See how quick that come together? Now, I'm gonna pour that in a little bowl here. Move this over here where y'all can, oh, you can see. Pour it in the bowl here. 
See that? See that nice sauce there for the fish? Took no time at all. This whole meal come together so quick. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna step off, I'm gonna come back, and we're gonna plate this fish up. I'm gonna show you how I plate it up, and uh, we're gonna be time to eat. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back. I got my fish plated up. Remember my sauce right here that I made? All I'm gonna do is just drizzle the sauce right on top. See that? Put the sauce right on there. See that nice lemon butter sauce? You can use it on the side. That's it. Now, I'm gonna step off right quick, y'all. Make a little thumbnail and we're gonna be back. We're gonna come back and enjoy this nice sauteed flounder with lemon butter sauce that I made in exactly, it took no time. You see how long it took me? It took me 10 minutes to make this whole meal and you can do it yourself. So I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. Check this out right here, y'all. Look at that. It's a meal right there, y'all. See that? All right. I already know this fish is so flaky. Mm, mm, mm. Look how flaky that fish here. With that lemon butter sauce, I'm telling you, perfect balance. Mm. I'm telling you, look at that sauce left over. See this sauce on some chicken? When you see my chicken bacala video, I make that too for the chicken bacala. But fish is very simple. I like fish, especially finally, like I said, it don't take long to cook at all. If it's very thin like this one, it doesn't take long at all. You see how flaky that fish is. Look at that. Here's I can see it. See how flaky that fish is, y'all. Perfect, perfectly cooked. All in the skillet. Anyway. Mm. I'm gonna eat some of this with a baked potato. Of course, I ain't gonna eat all of this fish. But, you got me a baked potato in the microwave, a few fish on the side. That's a Friday night meal right there, y'all. Okay. So, anyway, hope y'all enjoyed this new segment I started. I think this is the third or fourth one I've done. Fish Friday. TGIF fish segment of the week. So, let me close this video. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and oldschoolsoulfood.com. And remember the hashtag this year, 2021, help somebody, old school soul food. Until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.